What is going on, everybody? Hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. And I see I got good audio coming in, so that means I'm not muted today. <laughs> What's going on, Marco? Brother Jake Dizzle in the house. Got a couple channel members. What's going on, Marco? Oh, you know what I didn't do since Thursday? I haven't... Uh... Hey, Barry, thanks for stopping in, man. I appreciate it. Blade Walker, what's going on? What is everybody getting into today? I just finished recording all of, like, the entry stuff for the 6K giveaway stuff. So that'll be coming out soon um, for my members, my channel members. That video will be posting probably shortly after this live stream. That way you'll have, you know, all the way up until Thursday. So the entries will be up well in advance. The giveaway will be Thursday, April 25th. Live stream starts at 6, but giveaways will start happening at 7.30. Do you got to be present to win, um, but if you show up and something comes up and you can't hang out the whole time, or, you know, if it runs into your dinner time or anything like that, let me know. I'll jot your name down and give you credit for that. So... That should take care of all the giveaway stuff, and if you haven't seen what I'm giving away for the 6,000 subscriber milestone, go check that video out. It is out there. It is some really good stuff, I promise. What's up, Angelo? Jason's in the house. Palmer stopping in. What's going on, guys? What's everybody getting into today? And what are y'all carrying today? The sun is finally coming out. It was gloomy earlier, man. The... It was cloudy. It looked like it was going to rain for a minute. Man, I'm chilling. I'm just doing some recording. And then after this, I got to go finish cleaning up around the house and everything. Uh, the birthday party for my oldest tomorrow, turned 25. So we're having family over. We're going to cook out, do some burgers, hot dogs, and some fixings. I got everything ready to go for tomorrow, but I need to get the house the rest of the house in order i was able to hit like the downstairs some of the main stuff but now i kind of kind of pick up so i just wanted to take a little break check in see what everybody's doing see if anybody comes by and hangs out before going to see old g ball here at one o'clock um i did pop on a little bit earlier normally i do it around noon but and shout out to jay dizzle man thanks for uh <laughs> those tungsten carbide bit drivers uh, worked like a champ. I don't know that I have any sort of direction. <laughs> I went back to that one titanium pry bar that I showed you, and I was messing with that a little bit last night afterwards. And um, just trying to see, I guess I'm trying to learn how the bits behave on the material before I try to get into like doing any types of patterns or anything. So right now it's just a bunch of scratches on one half. Like uh, I did the bit we talked about for the long cuts on the back side on well I have a regular one so I did it on the um I did it on the back side for like the long cuts I really love how that that blurple works with that reflection it's so pretty and then I did a little bit of um golf ball I guess you said it was the golf ball it was the perfectly round one so I did that on this side on the one that's down in the garage so just playing around with it you know these are so cheap it's something really easy to practice on um and then, you know, I don't, I'm not going to destroy it, but it'll just be one that I keep for myself because it's going to have mismatched patterns on it. <laughs> oh, how are the pups doing, man? How are the puppies doing? I bet they're getting pretty big. Oh, man, I'm sorry you don't feel good, man. I hope you feel better. I think there's been something going around because I think there's a few folks on my team that had gotten sick, sick over the last month or so. Sorry to hear you caught that, man. Just got your left curse all today. Okay. Marco. He's shouting out everybody there. Yeah. And that's, you know, I'll probably... You know, I probably just order a couple of sheets of titanium, um, but those uh, those pry bars are like twenty five dollars, so they're not super cheap, but they're not overly expensive. Um, or are they eighteen? I think those are eighteen. I think the pens are twenty five. So I like to practice the anodizing on those, the pens and stuff, and then use those for giveaways. But I feel pretty dialed for the anodizing, like the colors and everything, and I kind of understand that really well. So that's why I wanted to get into some pattern stuff. <laughs> I just 
got the topo the Karshaw topo iridium that's a nice looking one man that's a really pretty knife are you enjoying that Crazy as can be. Yeah, they got that puppy energy, I bet. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, you can see the pollen spores and the pollen here. Knock on wood so far have been good this year, but I'm totally anticipating having to, having to take some Sudafed or something to, to deal with it. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm a little bit more fortunate. Um, up until recently, we've only been going in two days a week, and then they changed it to three days a week like a month ago, and everybody kind of staggers it pretty well, so it's not super congested in the office, but they're telling us in October they're going back to four days a week. I feel like kind of where it's leading is it's going to end up being just return to work uh, full-time in the office. I think everybody seems to be moving away from um, hybrid, which is unfortunate. It's very convenient um, for everybody. Everybody in our company is super convenient. Oh, I will, man. I will. Yeah, I just wanted to practice on some stuff um, and just kind of see. There, it's very uh, um, sharp. Like it's, you know, the it cuts very well, but it leaves very uh, sharp pieces sticking out. So it would need to be either blasted down or sanded down or something like that. Um, so I saw that uh, Blade Walker's got the Topo Iridium in the pocket today. I'm actually carrying, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I got the uh, the Mink in the pocket today. This is the Vostid Mink Fixie. I really like this one a lot. I don't know why my camera's not focusing. There you go. I must not have been centered. But I really like this. It's, you know, for 70 bucks, Nitro V, nice micarta. Not too thick of a blade stock, but it's got good jimping here, depending on what you want to do. And again, it's got a really thin profile, and it came with a very thin kydex. So this one's kind of, you know, as I carry this in my Asher little buddy, really kind of introducing me into carrying fixed blades. So it's very interesting. I didn't notice this before, but if it's not sitting perfect all the way down into the seam of the pocket, when I sit, it does kind of catch on my belt and pushes into me. So I just got to be mindful of that. And then I got my uh, my Manix 2 Lightweight with the applied weapon tech scales on, the Flytanium ball cage with the slit. And then from Ant Design, I picked up those Tritium inserts. So really like that. I did go ahead. I found like just on Amazon a steel coated black fold over pocket clip because it wasn't deep carry. And I just picked that up and threw that on there. Nothing special. I think that's like 15 bucks. But I really like this one a lot. Um, the lightweight scales plus the, they're skinny. And I, I just love the little micro milling on there. It's really nice micro milling. And it gives it just a little bit of texture without it being too grippy in and out of the pocket. And uh, the action on it is really nice. I like the sounds too. So, hey, Betty, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Channel member Betty. Yeah, and you know, Jay Dizzle, I think, truth be told, now that everybody knows what they know, we, we probably didn't need to go home. But I guess better safe than sorry. Um, it's unfortunate, though, because I just really feel like hybrid's really nice. Just to have a, even if it's just, you know, you do Monday, Thursday, or uh, Monday, Friday, or you do Thursday, Friday from home, it's nice to have a day where you can sleep in longer. You don't have to drive in traffic, which I think is like the worst part about it. Save a little bit of gas money, a little bit of wear and tear. You can eat at home a little bit, save some money from eating out for people that don't pack. Um, and then, you know, when you take a break or a lunch or whatever, you could knock out some chores at the house. I totally do that. So uh, unfortunate that they decided to move away from it. I hope they, you know, pull back to three days. I hope they don't go to five, but I, truthfully, I'm prepared for them just to say it's five days in the office per week. We're getting rid of hybrid. 
Um, for some reason, these old men up, up, way up high in the top of the company just absolutely hate hybrid or, or remote work or anything like that. They want to see you working. Like to me, they have to visually see it. Like I just, it's just that old school of thought. It's definitely not the next generation. Not miss anybody. What's up, Fook? Fook chop, popped in here. I didn't see Fook. How's it going, Fook? Um, I was cleaning a little bit earlier. I don't know why that's highlighted. I was cleaning a little bit earlier, trying to get ready for uh, the birthday party tomorrow. I think everybody that that's in here was in here on Thursday, so hmm, got a hangnail. I could feel it when I went to grab that. Um, so I, I'm sure y'all saw the. Applied weapon tech scales that I put on my Benchmade bug out whenever you want to focus. There you go. Um, I really like these scales. They completely transform the knife. I thought I ordered a pocket clip for this one, but then I went downstairs. I didn't have it out, but I went downstairs last night to get some stickers to throw in a pack for something that I sold to a subscriber. And apparently I have... Uh, I think an MXG clip that fits on here. So I need to take it down there when I'm done here and take a look at that and see how that fits. But uh, I was surprised by that. And then uh, I was fidgeting with the hedgehog a little bit more. And this is really breaking in nicely. Like it's feeling really good, getting really easy to reverse flick. If you like the Roxy 3, the October... The Wii Hyphen. This is that type of knife. Unfortunately, it's it's pretty chunky. And because it's not a full flat grind, it gets kind of thick fast. So when I was doing the cut testing with it, like it just wouldn't drive all the way through the denim. Um, so a little bit of a thicker geometry, but truth be told for EDC, it'll be fine. Betty, you did get the mini. Which one did you get? Did you go with the uh, black micarta or the green G10? I'm seriously thinking about pulling the trigger on it because I think it would be like a really good comparison recommendation. And for 30 bucks, 154 CM micarta or G10, that's a really good deal. Hey, Lonnie, thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it. Good to see you. Just wanted to jump on here before G-Ball goes live. I'll be listening on my phone because I'm going to have to go around and finish picking up and stuff and getting ready for the party. But I'll be in the chat uh, a little bit. Hey, what's up, Colby? How's it going? Just can't stay. Okay, well, thanks for popping in. I appreciate it. Um, hopefully you're able to come back on a little bit later for G-Balls. I'll see you in the chat there if you do. Sorry you can't stay, but thanks for saying, hey, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Uh-oh. Oh, I forgot to turn the ad off because <laughs> I scheduled this. Uh, last minute, like this morning, and I went through the settings really fast. Sorry, some of y'all are going to get an ad. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it just said ad inserted. I was like, what? Um, that's my fault. Got to cut it off. Sorry about, about that. Hey, Kathleen, how's it going? Hopefully, Lefty's got your uh, little bro uh, out to you. I'm excited for you to get that one. Can't wait to see what you think. It's a very pretty model, too. I like the wood. I have one knife with wood scales on it, and it's one of my oldest. It is the Civivi Mini Asticus. It is Damascus in wood. Um, I just really like the look, and I can never, you know, pull the trigger to, to let it go. Plus, it was, you know, what super expensive, but I really just like the way that looks sometimes on knives, and that one definitely looked really cool. Man, this thing, it is super fidgety. Did anybody pick one of these up? I don't know if this is out of the price range for some of you guys, but the S35EN, um, it took a really nice edge. I decided to, and it survived the spine whack test. I haven't posted the, uh, the review video yet, but it took a really nice edge. It's just, you know, I, I measured it and compared it to everybody else's like 24 thousandths behind the edge, which is kind of average i think 
and then it just it gets super thick let's see if i can get the camera to focus to that this way it gets super thick uh behind the edge fast so it is definitely more robust i know dave said that he's not um looking to just do regrinds he wants to do mods and stuff like that to challenge himself but I'm going to ask him just to see if he would put a hollow on this because I think this would be just an amazing slicer with a hollow grind on it. But I checked with uh, Roll, Sham Roll Shambo. His has the lightest detent out of everybody I've talked to. Um, Kevin says his is good, not weak, but not too strong. Mine is stout. And we all did like the uh, the, the little wrist thing. And mine was the only one that wouldn't come out. Um, Kevin did like five and it came out once. And then Rolshambo was able to get his out pretty easy. So detent's a little inconsistent on some of these, but the, it would be really easy to tune if you're, you know, if you're capable. Yeah, definitely send a photo. That would be really cool to see. That'd be awesome. That'd be really, really cool. Barry's Hedgehog is on the way. Did you go G10 or did you go Micarta and did you get the Topo? Rolshambo got the Topo and it's uh it's really cool looking. It's a very pretty pattern. I like it a lot. I just I'm a sucker for something in Micarta, especially when it starts to patina, and I really like when stuff is in a black micarta. I'm tempted before I ask Dave if I can send this to him just to take like a really high grit or would it be low grit, low grit sandpaper and actually try to rough it up a little bit, get a little bit more of those fibers on the, um, on the micarta to pop up. This is where it bit me because <laughs> I didn't have the pocket clip flipped. So it does you can't get to the tip easily. But when I was holding it, I had it like kind of on the fatty part of my hand and I my palm right there was hanging over and it just got me. So I was like, yeah, it definitely took a razor sharp edge. Um and it was just enough to bite me. Yeah, I saw um, quite a few that were priced high. There's still some really good deals on Blade Bench, but I feel like a lot of regular eBay retailers are testing out Blade Bench to see if they can get the same results. And I think eBay's probably got more traffic, so there's more opportunity for people to overpay for something there than there is on blade bench um so i have seen some way high prices on there but i've also seen some really cool stuff and i've seen a lot of people doing bundles which is a great way if you're into the budget category to go ahead and just grab some you know for really cheap it's like three budget knives for like 60 bucks or something which i think is a really good price you can blast you can blast the uh micarta I didn't know that. I've never tried that. I've always just, you know, grabbed like some sandpaper and took it across there really quick. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen a little bit more of it, and I think it is that eBay crowd. What's up, Clarence? How's it going? Appreciate you stopping by. Clarence is another channel member. Appreciate the support, my man. I love to see all the different color swords out there. What's up, Brian? Brian is a channel member also. Ever, anyone ever, ever check out Whatnot for some decent prices? What's Whatnot? I can say that I have not. Hey, Mark, what's going on? Appreciate you stopping by. Mark, also a channel member. Trying to get better at recognizing that when y'all come in here. Speaking of eBay, saw a Spyderco Nirvana for two thousand five hundred. No, no. I would like to get the um, 
Paizan, but it's just out of my range. And honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm already selling the Bowie. As much as I love the knife, I've gone four times to pick it up out of the case. And I'm just like, I'm scared I'm gonna I'm gonna mess it up. I'm scared something's gonna happen to it. It's just I for some reason when I when I get up over 300 on a knife, I just have the hardest time carrying it. And then the Bowie is even worse because it was so hard to get. And I know how rare it is. I don't know. So I'm just gonna move it along. I was I'm glad I got to experience it. I really love it. Um it may be down the road, like if I get to 300,000 subscribers, I'll have an opportunity to get another one and I won't care then because there'll be a little bit more uh, ad revenue coming in. But right now, it's barely enough to squeeze together <laughs> for the milestones to do giveaways. So, <laughs> Jay Tissel said, what? Yeah, I knew that was coming. You know how long I've been chasing that one? I've been chasing that one so long. It's listed up on Blade Bins right now. I am asking for 50 for it, but I am also including the, uh, the Rips Garage gear titanium pocket clip with it and everything that came with it it's basically new and man there's some good deals out there right now blade walker i don't know if you saw the october but it's like a 170 dollar knife normally and right now you can get the 20 cv and titanium variant both the black wash and the all satin version for 87 dollars 87 bucks actually i pulled it up earlier because i'm super tempted to get i like it so much <laughs> and uh uh was it kathleen that said that she got the um no was it who said that they got it Dag, i already forgot sorry guys um let me go over here because i was actually looking at them before we started i was actually looking at it yeah so you can get the black micarta october and 20 cv for 83 you can get the mini October, which is only slightly smaller, smaller and 154 CM um, for 35 bucks, guys. Like to me, that is just crazy. And then you see normally the frame lock version is 174, but some of the ones on the on the store, I just got to find it because they never come up in order. Um, it's super affordable. Where is it? I had a hard time finding it. There it is. $87. They have both. They have the black wash and the um, but they don't sew it here. They have the black wash and this one. I was tempted to get this one too because I like both. This one is not blasted like the um uh, the one that I picked up. So I'll drop a link in case anybody wants to look at these two. Super affordable. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. So that's the October. And then if you like the micarta variants better, which I really like this micarta. It's a smooth micarta. It's got a really nice feel to it. Um, I think I copied the wrong link. Is this the short link? Oh, it is. Good. You missed a $7 cold steel. Huh? Oh, wow. Y'all are finding some deals. I see. Uh, let me look over here. Hey, Jim, what's going on? I appreciate you stopping by. Oh, you're getting ready to go to sleep. Well, thank you for stopping in and uh, sweet dreams there, buddy. <laughs> Betty said it. Okay. Betty said that she's the one that got it. Yeah, it's it's a really good deal. They're all really good deals, but I am super tempted to grab this one. Oh, it's unavailable. Dang. Well, there goes that. There goes that. It must have sold out. Did someone grab one while I was talking about it? <laughs> Man. That was quick. I'm just looking to see if the black wash one is in there because I can link that one if anybody doesn't mind i don't even see the black wash one nope it looks like they've sold out i guess we've just talked about it so much i can't find the green g10 um oh there it is no that's the full price where's the sale price one 
I would want the satin blade with the black micarta. So I'd have to buy both and swap them. Did they sell out of the green ones, guys? Oh, the uh, October, they're really close. They're really, really close in size for the full size October. Um, so, <laughs> so there's the October. And then here is. Let me try to line up the pivots. So they're really, really close. Let me see if I can come in from underneath a little bit there. They're very close. I don't know how well that'll show. So really, really close. The uh, October is a little bit thinner, and it is, it's is—it's got a more slicey tip on it. it. It comes to a little bit more of an acute tip. It's going to be really hard to show that on camera, though. Um, you got the flipper tab. It's got really cool sounds, too. So you got the, the flipper tab and the uh, opening hole or pill shape hole. I don't, I don't know that it, uh, yeah, I guess it is technically a hole it goes through. Um, versus on here, you have the ability to use the button lock and then you have the flipper tab, the thumb stud, and then you have the fuller. Oops. I get my... I, if I don't sit on it right, sometimes I hit my thumb on that button. I got to remember to move my thumb below it and then I can, and then I slip, but there we go. I got to remember to lay it like that and then I can fire it. And then it has a ting. Oh, what did Jim say? Oh, yes. Prayer for, for Jim and Jim's mom. I'm sorry, bro. I missed that comment. I'm going back just now to catch it. Palmer's on the Peloton. Hey, man, I appreciate you hanging out uh, while working out. Or did you just finish? Hopefully you had a good workout. Oh, bladed happy birthday, Betty. I see that you're talking about you got something for your birthday. That's awesome. Congrats and a, a belated happy birthday or happy birthday if it hasn't come yet. What's up, Pretty Fly? How's it going? Lurking. Okay. Cool beans. Thanks for hanging out and listening. I appreciate it. Oh, Barry's getting ready to go to bed to himself. It's 2 a.m. Okay. Is that Great Britain? I can't see that flag on this uh on this screen. Thanks for hanging out, Barry. I appreciate it, man. Ah, uh, okay. I think it was an error on the pricing. Uh, Kathleen says, "Sorry, I'm reading, but I don't have the comment highlighted." I think it was an error last night. It'll be interesting to see if the sales go through. Prices are back up this morning. Many people purchased several. Somebody bought 17 during the live stream. Oh my goodness. Oh my. What was that on? I saw someone talking about a sin cut, but the comments flowed a little fast and jumped. All oh, good, Big Hams. Thanks for stopping in and saying hi, bro. I appreciate you, and I hope that your daughter wins her tournament. That's awesome. That'll be fun, though. Still going. Riding in Montiegro. <laughs> that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. What's up, Drinkwater? How's it going? Appreciate you stopping by. Um, just wanted to hop on. I just finished doing recording, and I got to get it edited so I can get it out there. But I went ahead and finished doing everything. 
for the 6,000 subscriber giveaway video. So it'll be the members only for the Devo. That'll be going up. I feel like I was getting ready to lose my grip on something. That'll be going up a little bit later today. So members can go in, drop a comment, and then the drawings will be, you have to be present. It'll be, not members, not the members. The members don't have to be present. Sorry, I've sort of clarified clarify that. Um, everybody needs to be present for the main giveaways. If you have to come and leave, that's fine. No issues. Just let me know. It'll be Thursday, April 25th, which will be the next Thursday live stream. And we the live stream start at 6 p.m., but we will be starting the drawings at 7.30. We'll do, uh, we're just going to do them in order. I'm just going to open the comment picker twice. You'll have to be entered before I start drawing. So try to get entered before 7.30 Thursday. What did I miss? It's on Tuesday, JD. What's happening on Tuesday? Nice. They Big Ham said that they've won their first three games so far. Nice. That's a solid start to the season. It was on Amazon. It was on Amazon on Cold Steel Knives. And some others, but the prices are back up this morning. Gotcha. Okay, is that what y'all were talking about? This was a few days ago. Hey, Clarence. Everybody have a great weekend. Happy 420 day. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Joe's popping in. What's going on, Joe? I'm just looking back. I'm, I'm just seeing... That you jumped in here a few minutes ago. Good morning. Good morning. Just looking at um, some of the stuff that Kaiser had on sale, but it looks like a, it looks like the uh, premium titanium Octobers have sold out. It looks like I don't see them up here anymore. Don't see them up here any morning. All right, big hams, have a good one. And I hope you have a good weekend. Hopefully, I can see y'all on the uh, G Ball Live in the comments i'm gonna be on my phone so i'm not gonna be able to tag anybody and um i need to finish picking up and getting ready for uh my son's birthday tomorrow oh there it is right there um i'm just gonna really quick stop sharing so i can grab this real quick i want to just grab this check this one out buy two more and save oh that's not what i meant to do i want to add to cart and then I wanted to go back. So the green jean 10 one's out there. I'm actually going to go ahead and buy one real quick. Oh, something's going on. My phone isn't sending some sort of notification. What was the, was it on the first page or the uh, second page? I wanted to see if the black wash one was there so I can link that for anybody that wanted to check it out, but I don't see it. All I see is the mini, which I do want to check out the mini so I can compare it to the full size too. Yeah, it looks like the only one that's left is the micarta version. Do y'all hear that notification when it goes off? Hey, what's going on, Kevin? Hopefully the weather's nice, nice there. The sun keeps dipping in and out here. Um, but no yard work for me. I got to hop off here in a little bit before G-Ball goes live because I need to go finish picking up for my son's birthday party tomorrow. We've got some family coming over. He turned 25, my oldest son. Kathleen was here earlier too, Kevin. She's super excited about her little bro. That was so awesome. I'm so excited for her to get it. She's going to send some pictures when she gets it. That'll be awesome. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. Don't see the black wash one. So I'm thinking the two titanium Kaiser Octobers that were like half off are gone, guys. Hopefully you were able to get one if you wanted one, but definitely looks like they're gone. Yep. I don't see it anywhere on here at all. At all. 
Oh, Joseph's sick too. A couple people in here not feeling good. Yeah, so my youngest turned 22 in March, and my oldest uh, turned 25 on Thursday. So I got two boys, one daughter. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything else out here in the sale. There's a... They got the Micarta Militoff. Anybody's looking at those in stock? Am I sharing? I'm not sharing. Whoops. Let's try that again. If anybody's interested in this guy, I recently got to review it um, through the pass around group that Kevin runs, which we're all super grateful for. It's so cool that he does that because I definitely wouldn't get to check out some of these ones that uh, that are out there. So. And if this one's a little out of your price range, there's a couple in 154 CM over on White Mountain Knives. They got the red micarta, they got the rich light, and then they got the uh, PEI, which is like the Ultim. I think it's the parent company that does Ultim. I'm not sure if that's right. Those are a little bit cheaper at 129. And then you can use JD for EDC. That'll save you 10%. Get you a little bit off of that one as well if you're looking for a Militol. But I really like this one a lot. I really, really enjoyed it. They did a really good job. Detent was dialed on that one. Um, the micardo is beautiful on it. They did a really nice job. It really feels like a pair of worn denim jeans, and it's got a really thin, slicey S35EN blade on it. A really, really cool one. Yeah, I hope you feel better, Joseph, man. Hey, Jim, um, I would say if you haven't watched Kevin's video where the PEI Milita is the thumbnail on it, that's the one that you want to watch. But yes, she did get a little bro. Oh, she already told you. Did you get in on the last drop, Brian? The, was that one another pre-order for a drop that was getting ready to happen for the Purple Haze? What is in my cart? What is in my cart? No, I didn't click on it twice. You're crazy. That is weird. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna check that one out though. Oh, and you still haven't gotten it? That is odd. Have you tried to reach out to them just to follow up? Maybe it's because it's not, maybe they did the giveaway and they had to make more because I feel like it's sold out everywhere, man. Absolutely everywhere. I'm just going to check out new arrivals to see if there's anything new real quick while I'm in here. And then I'm going to have to hop off here at noon. That'll give you guys an hour to uh, have a little bit of downtime before G-Ball goes live. And it'll give me an hour to go and pick up some stuff before he goes live. Not too much going on here. Chavez scapegoat back in stock. I know some people were chasing that one. That's the one that doesn't have the um, screws going through the skull. Oh, Betty, what did you win on uh, Beast Blade last night? That's awesome. Congrats. Jim's asking Oscar, what, also, what did you win? Yeah, yeah, I see it pretty fly. Are they just disappearing on your end? I'm seeing them. Yeah, Blade Walker hasn't been feeling good. What's up, Mike? Mike can see your comment too. 
Not too much new happening here on the uh, old Blade HQ. Not too much new at all. It's been kind of quiet. I think people are getting ready for Atlanta. You might see probably one more drop before Atlanta, I think, from folks. And then you're going to see, like, a bunch of vendors bringing stuff that they've re released recently. And then you're probably going to see um, some special unique offerings at Atlanta. Hey, there's a, a Exciton. If you guys are looking for Exciton. I really just don't understand this uh, Elementum Utility Blade. It's not an awful price. I just, is there that much of a demand? Is anybody picking that one up? Huh, that is weird. And you would want a Swiss Army knife with the saw. I think, which one do I have? I've had it so long now, I've forgotten the name. It's some, I think it's the Pioneer X. And actually, it's right here in my nightstand. The Pioneer X. Let's let's get in nice and close here, guys. So pretty fly. You're gonna want the Pioneer X. I would recommend the one with the A lock scales. And then this one here is gonna have a nice robust saw. You should be able to get that tree down, I don't know, five days. No problem. No problem at all. Um, that's that Swiss Army knife left such an impression on me. It, it's the only one that I keep. Ah, uh, that's not true. I think I have a, I think I have a Camper X or a Pioneer X in the camo in the bag that I keep downstairs for maintenance. Hey, Ron, how's it going? <laughs> Bet you didn't think I would have an answer for you. <laughs> I did. I had that sucker ready to go. Waiting for this question on this very day just to answer that. Man, there's nothing. Oh, look, there's some uh, null knives. Now, does Blade Binge have an exclusive on this? I didn't get to check. Let me see something real quick. Because I feel like they have, uh, no, I don't want to sign in. I just want to look. What's it called? I just left it without even really, oh, uh, the, uh, is it Raiku? Raiku? Oh, I know, I didn't look right. Oh, OU. OU. Oops. I'm not used to typing on this keyboard. I thought they had some. Let's, I know, let's do this. Oh, it doesn't drop till the 18th, okay. Do they have a dark matter one? They don't, they don't. Oh, it dropped on the 18th. And uh, two of them are already sold out, wow. Pretty interesting. Um, I forgot to mention on here, this is uh, the hedgehog options that are, what? That are available, what? Low stock on the topo pattern. Um, and here's the link in case anybody would like to check that out. What's up, Blade Walker? How's it going, man? Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> I got a chainsaw in the garage if you need to borrow one. Um, but it's a it's a smaller chainsaw. It's for light duty stuff. So I don't know how much that would help you. All right, Jim. Thanks for hanging out, man. I appreciate it. I hope your mom feels better. Sending uh, thoughts and prayers to you, brother. Channel member uh, addicted to blades in the house. Where's my my member cheer? Doing good, man. I'm just going to uh, head out of here in a minute to go ahead and start or finish cleaning up. Um, so I did like the cleaning with the chemicals and all that stuff already. So now I just need to go through and kind of like tidy up my boxes, get some of my junk from um, shipping stuff and, and recording and stuff off the tables and stuff and get all of it looking nice. So when the family comes over, they don't see how junky the house can get. <laughs> That's not that bad, but... Uh, we definitely want to make sure it's nice for everybody coming over and looking good for, for his birthday party. So, Oh, you know what? I, I don't think I, um, I don't think I finished. Did I finish my order? Nope. I didn't. I did not. I'm gonna leave it there for a second though. Cause I feel like there's some other stuff that I need from Amazon. So I'd rather just do it at one time. All right, guys, well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I need to go ahead and head down and finish cleaning up stuff. Uh, I'll be on my phone when I get on G-Balls Live, so I won't be able to tag anyone. But if you're going to be there, say hey, and I'll, I'll say hey back. I hope everybody enjoys the rest of their weekend. I love you guys. I hope you have 